the top of Europe, the Jungfrau Jok, in the heart of the Alps, in Switzerland, the world's highest train station and most advanced cable car, and the most scenic views of the Alps. All this on this tour of the Jungfrau Jok, a totally different world, that's why it's worth sharing, here on my barrio, my mundo. Commentaries and travel tips provided. And from this terminal, the Young Pro Yok is just 45 minutes. Grindelwald is just an option as a departure point. Equally good is Interlaken from the lowlands. Here you have the view of the mountainside and of the glaciers, while in the lowlands, the lake, which are equally spectacular. This is a plan. We're taking the cable car in going up and in going down the train. And we are now at the terminal. It's the station after Grindelwald or before Grindelwald if you're coming from Interlaken. Ticket sorted and we're ready to go. Welcome on board and we start our ascent. This is the Iger Express cable car system named after the glacier. It's a 20 minute ride loaded with views. Sensory overload. Do you see the tracks below? We're taking those on our way down. And we are here at the glacier. We are halfway. We'll be transferring to a train. And halfway, we're stopping over to view the ice mere or the ice lake. A glacier. Bluish furrowed ice blocks under a blanket of eternal snow, and in the distance, the panorama of 4,000 meter peaks. This is Ice Mere or Ice Lake. During the last ice age, all of Switzerland must have looked like this mountain. Boarding again to resume our ascent, and we are at the highest train station in the world. Respect to this engineer who built this train system inside this mountain. The facility can be disorienting since it's underground, most of it, so it's good to orient yourself first. There are all your visual presentations, but we want to explore the exterior instead. And this is the UNESCO World Heritage Site, Swiss Alps Jungfrau Aletsch, the first natural heritage site of the Alpine region. From the Sphinx Terrace, which we will be visiting later, we can enjoy a magnificent view of the longest glacier in the Alps towards Italy, France, and Germany. So finally, we're on the top of the world, no, the topmost of Europe. It's 3,700 meters above sea level. And we're very fortunate to, be, to have a very uh, pleasant day. Over there is Germany. Look. It's not very crowded, really, because it's uh, almost off season. It's autumn, and it's very. It's not very cold. You can feel the thin air. Yeah. Walking and even slight movement can make you tired. The air is thin here. You have to be relatively fit. You won't get a better view anywhere else. On one side, a view as far as the black forest and the bushes, while on the other, the Alitz Gletscher comes into view. Bordered by 4,000 meter peaks, on the glacier platform, we are guaranteed snow and ice, 365 days a year. It's 
enough of the outdoors. Let's go back inside for the AV presentation and the ice palace. A shudder runs down the spine of whoever enters this 250 meter long corridor between the Sphinx Hall and the Ice Palace. Not only because of the frosty temperatures, but also because of the sacrifices made by the miners to open up the Jungfrau Joch to the railway. 30 memorial tablets bear witness to this. It brings back to life the beginnings of the Jungfrau Bahn, together with the images from the time of the Theresa visionaries. And on a mirror's smooth tour through a frosty world, it's just a nice tunnel. <laughs> And now we are at the other side of the facility. We have to queue, take pictures next to the flag. Yeah, uh, in in other hours days, four hours. To tour this uh, type of queue, yeah. minimum of four hours. I feel, I feel like I'm in heaven. Yeah. That's why when you're in heaven, don't rush to go down to the earth. <laughs> yeah. Tip number two, and if you have sufficient days in the Interlaken region, we suggest how many days, uh, Sharon? Three days. Minimum of three days. Yeah. And, yeah. So, three nights, four yeah. days and three nights. Yeah, because the first day, you, yeah, easy orientation tours, and then just spend, and today we spend it for the mountains. And this is the comparative analysis for the Swiss Dream Pass, the most economical one. Yeah, for the research. Yeah. Yeah. That's why if you're interested to know a budget-friendly way of enjoying this region. You don't need to be rich to explore Swiss Alps. You just need to be resourceful. True, and she's very resourceful. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why, if you're interested, she has compiled the most cost-efficient combination tickets. Just leave your comments here in the description box. We'll respond to you, promise. It's time for lunch, and surprise, there's an Indian buffet. And at the lowest floor, there's an Indian restaurant. Believe me. Imagine dining with a view of the glaciers. And dining on top of Europe. What an experience. Priceless. We're going home, we're going down. Don't leave us yet because we're taking the train. Most of the journey will be underground. But once we're outside, the journey would be equally a treat. A surprise, chocolate, giveaways on the way back. Is that unique? Ocean Airlines does the same. And finally, we're outside the tunnel, heading towards Grindelwald. Enjoy the view and the wonders of Swiss engineering. Mountain trains need this for the cogwheels. And overhead is the cable car that we took on our way up, the Iger Express.
And we're back at Grindelwald. Look what happened to my bottle. Due to the chains in pressure. And that ends our tour of the top of Europe. Jungfrau Jok here in the heart of the Alps. Thank you and see you on the next video as we bring you more of places, events and cultures. Here on my barrio, my mundo. Hey. Uh...